In this video, you will learn how to count out your till. When counting the till, take the in progress cashier worksheet and record the amount of 20s, 10s, 5s, 1s, and all change in the ending cashier for the day column. This should be the same worksheet you used to count in your till. Add all the totals together and write it in the total column. Anything above 200 is the cash deposit. Any money that is recorded above the specific cash amount gets deposited into the clear deposit bag along with all receipts in your completed cashier worksheet. Start a new cashier worksheet and recount the till and record the amount of 20s, 10s, 5s, 1s, and all change in the first column of the worksheet. This final step is important for you to double check that the amount in the till is exactly 200. Add all the totals together and write it in the total column. Once you sign the bottom of the sheet, you are agreeing that there is $200 in the back. If it is off, you will be held accountable. If you have any 20s and 10s, you will need to fill out a change request sheet and exchange your large bills for either 5s, 1s, or coins. For this example, there is a 20 in the till, so a change request sheet was filled out in order to get 20 ones. In the comments section of the cashier worksheet, write what you exchanged so the person counting in the till is informed of this exchange. Put the cash sheet and all money from the till into the blue bank bag. Hand the sheet and large bill to one of the full-time staff so they can get change for you. They will initial the bottom of the sheet and hand you the change requested. Make sure to count the money again and verify it is the correct amount and place it into the blue deposit bag. Make sure to put all change into separate bags before placing it into the blue bank bag. Put the zero port into the pencil bag and place back. Drop the clear deposit bag into the gray safe using the handle. Open it back up and make sure it went into the safe and it is not still sitting there. Find a full-time staff member to put the bank bag into the safe. 